I can't believe I did that. And when I was feeling that way as well, that's so cool. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me this week. I hope you're doing well. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications so you hear as soon as my next video comes out. And if you like these videos, please give them a thumbs up because that really helps get this out to people. It also might be able to help. So this week I wanted to share with you some of the things that help me uh, when I'm struggling and when I'm in a bad place. I think what I found that trying to get some of these in order when you're in a in a better place can really help help you then be prepared for when things are a little bit more tricky okay so this is a whole range of things so some of the things that help me is even things just like knowing my purpose and knowing knowing my why what's my why to keep going um i think when you're in such a difficult place it can be really really tough uh to find reasons to keep going and keep moving forward but it is so important that you do because this isn't as good as it gets you know there are brighter days ahead there really are one of the main things for me is i'm uh pretty terrible at well or good whichever way you want to look at it i'm great at filling up my time and taking on too much um i'm a lot better now but that used to be one of my uh one of my weaknesses i guess i'd take on way too much and i'd have such a full diary that it was just too overwhelming and then when you're in a bad place there's like no space to, for things to get tough because there's just so much going on like you're constantly on the go what i found is that when i'm starting to struggle is i actually start just crossing stuff off the list so i will cancel things i will i'll bring life back down to the bare basics of what I need to do just to keep going. Another thing that really helps me, and again, this is to do when you're in a good place, is getting ahead of stuff. So if there's anything coming up that I have to do, trying to get ahead means that if things start getting wobbly, you know, up to that period when something is due, there's space for that and there's space for things to go wrong and allowing myself that extra time. That's one of the things I think I've learned in this last year is getting ahead of everything and yeah just allowing that space for for things to be difficult which they are you know that's just part of life and i think being prepared for that in advance that's really helped me so when i was in and occasionally i still get it not so much now but when i'm in places that are so difficult and so tough and i'm so detached um that was terrifying and actually one of the things that really helped me in those times was just distraction and just trying to get time to pass because you know quite often things would feel a little bit better by themselves and just passing the time and i think that's okay like when you're really struggling just trying to get i i oh, it's such a struggle saying it because you don't want to wish your life away but when things are that painful like just letting time pass a little bit that's okay and that that did become a tool of mine when i was like in those really difficult places you know just just making it to the next day that's okay and sometimes even just filling up time with box sets or things like that like being able to distract myself became actually a really useful tool now i couldn't in the beginning days but once i got to the point that i could get absorbed by tv or things like that that actually really helped me so i don't think that's one you know to push to the side because if it's going to help and get you through some of those dark times why not use it now one of my massive triggers for me is stressful situations or any kind of stress really so as soon as things start getting tough again i have to try and look at the stress and how can i get rid of the stress and you know just cut that out of my life i think also looking ahead to things that might be stressful and how can i minimize those coming up that really helps so i think even things like when i used to go and have meetings at places if i could go and view the venue in advance so that all that already became familiar that was like less of a stressor on the day which really helped me now that i'm in a place that i can connect with things again comedy is something that i really love like things that just make me laugh because i think you get a bit lost in the moment then and that's really nice and it's a little bit of break from everything that's going on so if there's things that make you laugh maybe like if it's youtube videos or something like that have some of them saved ready so if you're in a bad place you can pull on them go to them and they can help you through those times okay now i have to say the biggest 
thing that has helped me is it took me quite a bit of time to pull together but it is I've got a scrapbook and can you see it this is it and I absolutely love it and I filled this full of all the exciting things that I've done over the years anything that's kind of been like a standout moment where I've been like oh that was you know just brings that warmth back to you to be like yes I did that and I you know you're really proud of it or just something that makes you smile and having that to to pull back on and look back through because there's times and I sometimes I get them now where I think what am I doing with my life like I still can't feel you know is my life being wasted and things like this and it's you know those those thoughts and feelings do do pop up at times but having this to look back through i then look at it and i think oh my god in spite of all this it's actually been quite a cool life that just makes me smile so i've got in here things like well let's see okay so wow Shows how I was into some of this crazy stuff when I was young. So this is from when I was, wait, can you see that? Super young and I was going gliding um, at a local airfield. So I put that one in there because it just makes me smile. I was really, oh my gosh, wait, when was it? 2000 it says. I've got a certificate in there from 2000. But can you see little me there? That was the first time I did it when I was really young. So I've got things like that in there. Holidays I went on. Oh, me and my brother flew a plane. Uh, quad biking, ice wall climbing. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know this was a thing. In fact, in London, now this is going back many, many years, there was um, an ice wall in the back of a shop that you could go and climb. Don't know if it's still there, but it was really cool um co-steering i did uh we went to vegas and did indoor skydiving some holidays that i've been on play pigeon shooting and we actually got let me see if i can show you this uh we got medals for it can you see that because me and my brother came first so we got a medal for that which was really cool um dance pieces that i've done dance performances oh my gosh so i used to have my own dance school with some of the kids and the memories from that kayaking yeah different events or holidays i've been to oh my gosh i went to ascot i completely whoa oh my gosh i can't believe wow so bearing in mind i was still really ill at this point I went to the Olympics in London all by myself because no one else wanted to come. And I thought, do you know what? It's something I really want to do. Am I gonna let the fact that I'll have to do it by myself stop me from having that experience? So I didn't and I went, God, that's mad. What's this one? Oh my God, I flew a helicopter. I completely forgot that I did that. Wow, oh, this is so difficult. Can you see that? That's the helicopter that I went and flew. Um, segwaying, oh my gosh. I went and uh, joined, I went and joined ice skating lessons and I even got all the certificates with it. I don't think I got very far, but I still did it. And you think so many of these things I did whilst I was feeling rubbish because I just thought I'm not going to let this. I mean, sometimes you can think, should I wait and put life on hold until I do feel better? But I thought, no, I'm just going to keep going. Uh, me and my brother went, we went raft building, as you do. Uh, we kayaked as Santas. Oh my gosh, we went to Top Gear and it was the one where Will Smith was the guest. I couldn't believe it. Like Will Smith, someone I really look up to. And a lot of his YouTube, like motivational YouTube videos, if you watch those, the whole kind of just concept that anything is possible, 
that's what I really needed to believe when I was in such a difficult time. Um, I did, I don't know what this is called. What's it called when, um, when you're attached to a boat on like a parachute thing that comes out? Whatever that's called. I did that. Oh my days. Um, we went to become farmers for the day and got a certificate for that. I mean, it was, it was great fun. What else have we got? Went to Zip World in Wales. Oh my gosh, I went and saw Ultimate Strongman. I forgot about that. Oh my gosh, I went to Milan for my 30th birthday. Oh, right, this is exactly why making this kind of scrapbook of your life is such a good one. Because when life feels like it sucks, you can look back through and think, oh my gosh, I've done some amazing things. Like there can be holidays you went to, going to the cinema, dinners out, going for walks, like walks along the beaches and just take a photo or get a stone from there and pop that in. There's so many things. Wow, I did glass blowing, alpaca walking. There's just, and this is, um, where it's got mad is I've now got a second book because I filled up the first one. So in this one, I've got four by four driving. Oh my days. I can't believe I did this, but I went to, um, I really wanted to try out trampolining. So I went off to a, uh, it was like a little tryout thing. Anyway, it turned out I was the only adult that was going. Um, but I got some of these badges, so I kept those. Oh, now we're full of runs. So this was the year when I got into running and actually I went all the way through and completed a marathon. I was very slow, but I still completed a marathon and I got to my medal. Oh, was, that was such a crazy year. White water rafting. We done escape rooms. So even escape rooms, I'll capture those in here because they just make me smile. And it just, I don't know. I think when times get tough, anything that can put a little smile on your face is something positive. <gasps> we did paragliding. Let me show you this. Can you see that? Oh, the memories. And this is why I just don't think you should put your life on hold. I really don't. Wakeboarding, hot air balloons. I went and saw the Spice Girls. Oh my gosh, that was so much fun. Wing walking. I mean, this was crazy. But, can you see that? stood on top of a plane and this is the amazing thing that even though you know I still feel very detached and things don't feel real the fact that it can oh my days let me show you this look at that up in the sky like even the fact that it just makes me smile ah oh, I would recommend this to absolutely anybody Wow, this was, so I went back to the wing walking and then went and did it upside down. Crazy, right? Absolutely crazy. So, oh, I went and climbed Snowdon. That was a recent one. Went surfing at the Wave in Bristol. Like, there's just so many incredible things. I just think having somewhere that you can store any sort of memory that makes you smile that makes you feel warm and something you can pull out when you're struggling i just think that's priceless so i would absolutely if you don't already i would massively recommend that you know it doesn't have to be a scrapbook it could be a photo album it could just be a list it could be a list of things that when you read them back that make you smile like anything like that at all i think having that prepared ready for when life gets difficult i think that's just going to help so much or at least I know it helped me massively. Well, I hope there's been lots of things in this video for you to think about. Maybe some things you can use to help you out because, you know, there are going to be times when things are really, really difficult. But there is things we can do to help us. I know it doesn't solve everything and it's, it's not going to. But even just to have one moment that 
that feels a little bit lighter than than the rest is is something positive all right i'm gonna leave things there this week but look after yourselves take care if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and i'll see you all again next time bye